is Elmer uh, Palayo. I'm a senior at DePaul University. And today we'll be talking about an instruction set on how to understand that inflation and increased prices in oil make your life harder using supply and demand graphs. My intended audience, anyone who pays taxes. Difficulty level, amateur. Step one, what is inflation? If the money supply increases faster than real output, then inflation will occur. If you print more money, the amount of goods doesn't change. However, if you print money, households will have more cash and more money to spend on goods. If there is more money chasing the same amount of goods, firms will just put up prices. Inflation is a decrease in the purchasing power of money, reflected in a general increase in the prices of goods and services in an economy. Step 2. Supply and demand graph showing how the money supply directly affects your purchasing power. Here we have a graph uh, illustrating what $44,887 in 1990 adjusted for inflation in 2022 is worth, which is approximately $100,000. Now that's an inflation rate of, uh, you know, 100%, you know, um, from the, the fact that, you know, it shows that over time our purchasing power has increased, um, you know, greatly emphasizes how inflation has basically made things harder for the standard of living in America. Here, uh, step three: graphs on necessities and how they became more expensive. How they became more expensive in correlation to inflation. Due to the influx of money in the money supply, common home necessities are relatively more expensive. Here we have a chart um, depicting the major food category expenditures. 12 month percent increase from March 2021 to March 2022. In the food section, especially in the food at home, there's a 10% increase um, in, in uh, the price of goods at home. Um, you know, that's rel relatively higher than the food away from home, where, you know, typically it's known that it is cheaper to make your food at home and buy goods at stores and make your food instead of buying at fast food or restaurants. So this shows how inflation has affected food, food prices. Step four, explaining how important oil is in the world and how the price of X markets around the world. According to the World Economic Forum, oil accounts for approximately 3% of GDP and is one of the most important commodities in the world. Petroleum products can be found in everything from personal protective equipment, plastics, chemicals, and fertilizers through to aspirin, clothing, fuel for transportation, and even solar panels. High oil prices also hit businesses and consumers with higher transportation and manufacturing costs. Here we have a global oil supply demand and inventories graph. Right here we see um, the green line, it's the consumption, and um, <clears throat> in 20, uh, at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, oil consumption dropped because people weren't as productive and they weren't consuming uh, as much oil as they were. But as uh, the pandemic, uh, you know, the pandemic, as the pandemic restrictions uh, were lifted, more people starting doing uh, things where cons uh, oil is consumed more, so demand, you know, increased, and supply stayed low, stayed low. So now we see the price of oil increasing, and that's now what we have today. You know, um, oil demand high and supply low equals. Um, uh, more expensive uh, oil prices. So five, explain how it directly affects the goods we purchase by explaining how fuel and trucks affect how much you pay in the stores. Um, as an experienced logistics broker, um, when I'm selling commodities on the market, um, such as <clears throat> you know coils or or even beer, um, you know these commodities. The truckers uh, use fuel to to 
you know, have their trucks move the commodities in the United States. As the price of fuel goes up, truckers ask for more money to cover for those expenses. So that though that hap- what that then happens is those co- costs are transferred over to the third party logistics um, company that you know is you know dealing with these commodities, and then those those um, instead of profit, they're more making losses. So what happens is those losses are then transferred over to the customer customers such as Kroger, Walmart, Costco. We ask them for more money. What happens is um, those customers then uh, then up their prices on the goods they're transporting, and they expect the customers, for example, such as regular people who are want to uh, buy some goods in the store, the prices of regular goods go up. So when fuel is expensive, truckers and companies, trucking companies, ask for more money to move their trucks which then the costs are transferred over to the customers to pay. Where does this leave the American consumer? Everything is more expensive. There's less money in people's pockets. And there's more difficult standard of living. Step seven. Uh, Government policies that affected oil prices. um, The oil market is um you know regulated by the government and they affect the oil prices so that's why um, some administrations are like are deemed good because they want to have oil in the market but others they they write for um you know for helping the environment but it affects you know the americans pockets because then fuel goes up so in November, 15, in November 2015, the Obama administration rejects the Keystone uh, XL pipeline. Um, what happened during that time was that uh, President Barack Obama rejects the proposed Keystone XL pipeline, which would, which would have transported more than 800,000 barrels of oil per day from Canada to Texas. Uh, subject to multiple rounds of State Department review since its conception in 2008, supporters said it would have created jobs and enhanced energy security, while other people um, believe that it could have caused potential damage to the environment. Um, in March 2017, while um, Trump's America First energy plan, um, he campaigned uh that the U.S. government should boost up oil production and achieve energy independence. And this would later, um, in turn, um, give us cheaper prices of fuel. And in January 2021, in Biden's new direction, uh, Biden wants to, but Biden canceled the Keystone XL pipeline and suspended drilling leases. This um, affected oil prices, and now we are, you know, we're here uh, in 2022 with really expensive uh, fuel prices. Step eight, Q, Q&A on how to understand that COVID inflation and increased prices in oil will make your life harder using supply and demand graphs. What is inflation? How does the oil affect the prices of necessities? What happens to your purchasing power as inflation rises? The answers are on the next slide, and um, please answer them in the comment section. Thank you. Have a good day. You know, after uh, going through this instruction study, you should understand how inflation and uh, expensive oil prices make your life more difficult. Thank you. Have a good day.